Welcome to Love Flying. Have you ever wondered how to fuel an airplane? I'm a little embarrassed to say that I spent a couple years flying before I figured out how to do it. I flew at flight schools where they fill up the plane before you show up for a lesson, so you never see or help them fuel. And then I bought an airplane and parked it at an airport with a, with a relatively inexpensive full service option. And so they took my fuel order before I showed up and all I did was check the fuel and go fly. So it wasn't until, I don't know, six months into owning an airplane that I landed at a rural field with no full service option and self-service pumps and I had to fill up and I had to face this ridiculous fear of fueling an airplane. And of course, turns out it was really easy. I just needed to know the steps. And so, I decided I'd make a video about it because I imagine there are other people that feel the same way. I think some pilots are gonna look at this and feel like it's silly if you fueled your plane a hundred times. Of course, it's, it's really simple, but this is for people like me before I found myself having to figure it out uh, in the moment. So let's go fuel an airplane. I'll walk you through it. I hope this is helpful. So the first thing you have to do is decide where to get fuel. I know that sounds really silly, but especially now when fuel prices are sky high, that's actually an important decision. If I'm planning a trip, one of the things I'm gonna look at is fuel prices. And so KEDC is Austin Executive. This is where my airplane lives right now and where I fly. So at each airport, we can look and see fuel prices. You can see 100 low lead, which is av gas. That's what uh, piston engines take is 750 a gallon, which is incredibly high. And jet A, which is essentially kerosene, and it's what uh, turboprops and jets burn, is 880 a gallon. So you know, a year ago, this was maybe $3 a gallon. And some of these jets burn many hundred gallons an hour. So this being $8 a gallon is is pretty striking. What if I'm flying from Austin Executive to Sugarland, which if you watch this channel, you've seen me do several times. And I wanna know where near this route can I find good gas prices because I wanna save some money. If I'm gonna put 80 gallons in, in the tank, $2 a gallon is is pretty meaningful. So I can actually toggle on 100 low lead prices and we'll see Houston executive is 655 whereas Austin executive was 750 so that's a almost a dollar a gallon Sugarland where I'm going it's green so that means the prices are better than average 588 that's very good and in fact it looks like Sugarland has the best prices around uh, I see a few slightly cheaper prices, but Sugarland is competitive with uh, with most here. And so this is how I do planning for fuel. It's not like in a car where the difference from one gas station to the next is a few cents or maybe a dozen or two dozen cents on the on the outside. This can be a difference of, as you can see, 856 versus 588 so nearly a three dollar difference which for me is over three hundred dollars to fill up that's pretty huge next you have to park your airplane near the pumps another one that sounds really simple but take care when you do this because more than one time has a pilot bumped the fuel pumps or the pylons guarding the fuel pumps with their wings. Once you're parked, you activate the fuel pump. It usually wants you to enter your tail number first, so it'll have a record of who filled. And then it's gonna ask you how much fuel you wanna take. You insert your credit card, you get it authorized, and you're off to the races. The last step before you start to pump is to ground the aircraft. This is the only part that's significantly different than putting gas in your car. Airplanes build up static, electricity in flight, and the fuel moving through the pump itself can generate static electricity. And so if that arcs, it can ignite the, the fuel vapors, which is obviously not a good thing when you're, when you're fueling an airplane. You ground the airframe with a metal wire called a bonding strap. Some airplanes have a designated spot for grounding the aircraft. The Malibu, for example, there's a spot on the landing gear you're supposed to use. For every other plane, it's okay just to use the exhaust. That's metal, it connects to the whole airframe and properly grounds the aircraft. Once your plane's grounded, it's time to pump the fuel. 
So an aircraft fuel pump is just like a car fuel pump, but on steroids. So there's no auto shut off. It can pump a lot of gas quickly and it's easy to overfill, so you have to watch when you're pumping. Once you're done pumping, you reel in the bonding strap and the fuel hose, shut off the pump, and behold the financial carnage. Okay, it's that simple. That's how you fuel an airplane. If you're like me and it feels intimidating, hop in the plane with an instructor and go practice. And if you're not a pilot, now next time you're at the airport and you see guys and gals fueling up, up an airplane, you'll know exactly what's going on. So if you like this video, please subscribe. And if there are any other things you're curious about that you think I can answer, leave it in the comments. I'd love to make more videos like this for you. Until next time.